Congratulations! You just got military orders to PCS to someplace new. Congratulations! It's a super exciting time. However, it can also be very stressful. So stay tuned. In this video, I'm going to give you the five things that you need to do as soon as you get those military orders to prepare for your move. All right, as promised, these are the five things that you must do right away when you get your military orders. Just kidding, I'm kind of kidding. Take your time. Don't get too stressed out. Anyway, here we go. Number one, uh, make sure that you start your research. This is so much easier than it ever used to be. And you can do things like post on Facebook groups that are specific to the military post or the military community that you're going to. You can find out whose friends of friends have lived in the place where you're going because the military is a teeny tiny community so you almost always will find some place, somebody who has been to any place no matter where you're being stationed. And then of course your best friend, Google. Uh, I love using Google to you know, check out blogs, any articles, anything I can find about my new home that I'm going to be living in. All right, so number two. This is probably already on your mind because it's super important, um, but you'll want to weigh your housing options and find out how much that BAH is in your new location. You might be surprised. Hopefully it's a good surprise. Anyway, that will probably influence your decision whether you live on post, if you rent, or if you buy. But make sure that you don't rule out any of those until you actually weigh all of your options. Write out your wish list, figure out how much uh, time you're willing to commute, what kind of budget that you have, uh, how many bedrooms that you need, how much storage space you need, all those good things. Write out your wish list and see what is going to make the most sense for you and your family. And if you decide to rent, I cannot go through this whole presentation without mentioning that you should check out ahern.com, obviously. We have the largest selection of um, single family homes for rent in military communities online. So I behoove you to check it out. And one last little tip, if you find a house that you love, a rental home, and it's just a little bit out of your price range, don't be afraid to negotiate never know it's gonna happen. All right, tip number three, create a move timeline. Now, granted, this can be a little tricky if you find out, you know, four weeks or three weeks or, you know, gosh forbid, two weeks before you're supposed to move. But map backwards from your big move date and make sure you include all the things that you know that you have to get done. So if you're living off post, you're gonna have to turn off your utilities, possibly uh, notify your landlord, schedule your household goods, change your mailing address, and then something I just recently went through, moving to Hawaii, is our dog, our sweet Boston Terrier Zoe, she had all sorts of different things that we had to do before we moved her to the island. So I had to get with my vet uh, back at Fort Leonard Wood, Missouri, and make sure that we crossed all of our T's and dotted all of our I's. You'll want to do the same you know, with your children, if you have any children, their shot records, uh, doctor stuff, school stuff, all that good stuff. Okay, moving on. Check. Step number four. Sometimes when you get military orders and they're to a place that you're not super excited about, it can be kind of a drag. But I have a solution. Uh, check out the local community and the cities that are within driving distance of your new home and see what you're going to want to check out that looks like fun. You know, maybe they have a uh, live music event every month. You know, uh, we had that at Fort Campbell called Jazz on the Lawn. It was a lot of fun. Um, and then, you know, see if they have any museums or zoos or anything like that that tickles your fancy. And um, even if the town that you're moving to is itty bitty and doesn't have anything that you can get excited about, maybe if you're driving across country to get there, then you can stop and do some fun things on the way. TripAdvisor is a good resource for this, especially for the bigger cities. Sometimes in small towns, it tells you that McDonald's is the best restaurant in the town, and that's probably not true, but definitely for big cities. All right, and step number five, nobody wants to hear this one, but it is worth being said. If you have anything that is of value to you at all, you know whether that's emotional value or straight up dollar value, uh, make sure that you start keeping track of all that stuff. Uh, so keep track of serial numbers, take pictures of the, you know, the state that it's in, 
can save some headaches down the road in any he said, she said kind of situation with your movers. So totally not fun, but totally necessary. And on the flip side, if you are looking around and you're seeing boxes that still haven't been opened from your last PCS, this is a great time to get rid of them. <laughs> Don't make your movers or yourself haul them across the country again. This is a great time to use like Facebook buy and sell groups or Buku or Sarge's List or any of those marketplaces to buy and sell what you do not use anymore. All right, that is it. Those are my five tips. Those are the five things that you need to do as soon as you get orders to for a military PCS or any other reason that you're moving. I hope you enjoyed. If you found any value in this whatsoever, please, please click the little like button and subscribe to our channel uh, here at ahern.com. We're going to have some more videos that are related to home and moving and military life and all of those great things. So thanks, and I hope you have a very smooth move.